Hi everyone for taking admission in your dream medical college counseling process is a very important step and in the continuation of the discussion of the counseling processes of various state this time i brought to you the karnataka medical seat matrix and the cut off analysis and simple to say the overall counseling process for the same the official website is cetonline.karnataka.gov.in/kea/ it means the official website is the place where you can get the entire information one by one i'll be talking about the various segments but first of all important to understand the eligibility criteria among lot of eligibility criteria there i have taken the very important to just have a look on this candidate must have studied from the government recognized educational institution located in the state of karnataka for a minimum period of 7 academic years commencing from 1st standard to 12th standard and must have appeared or passed either 10th or 12th standard examination from karnataka state another criteria is candidate should have studied 11th and 12th standard examination within the state of karnataka from an educational institution recognized by the state government and that either of the parents should have studied in karnataka for a minimum period of 7 years so another eligibility criteria but this is not all you have to just check the other eligibility criteria there at the information brochure which is available on the official website post eligibility it's pretty important to understand the step by step process and for the online registration once again you need to go to the official website which is cetonline.karnataka.gov.in/kea/ now there you need to go for the document verification as per the notified schedule further online choice filling is also an important step you have to fill the choices of your liking now allotment of admission it means seat would be allocated to you and then you need to participate in the reporting process and that needs to be done on the basis of the information given there on official website now the turn comes for the karnataka state to understand the mbbs seat matrix how many colleges are available and how many seats are available in your own state so total number of the colleges for mbbs are 60 and the total number of the seats are 9845 out of which total government colleges are 23 and the private colleges are 37 where you can find 3500 government seats and total 6345 private seats this map will give you a clear idea that how many colleges are available in your neighborhood in your own city or in the nearby area In the continuation it is important to understand the number of government colleges and the nearby medical colleges for MBBS have a look on the screen you can find the college name along with the total number of the seats in this continuation it is very important to know about the private medical colleges as well and on the screen you can clearly see that large number of the private colleges available along with the number of seats post mbbs it is also important to understand the bds seat matrix on the screen it's clearly visible that a map is there where you can find the government colleges private colleges as well as the number of seats also the total number of the colleges for bds are 39 where total seats are 2825 when it comes to the government colleges these are 3 and 36 private colleges are there and the seats which are important here government seats are 185 and the total seats in the private colleges is 2640 and in the continuation dental colleges are clearly visible on the screen where three are the government colleges with the seat number and along with that the private dental colleges are also mentioned on the screen and that would definitely help you to identify the college in your nearby area let's have a look on the karnataka state medical counseling chart in this counseling chart you can clearly see that i have just divided it into two parts one is government medical colleges where 85% seats are available where the 15% yes those 15% seats are filled by all india counseling 
on the MCC website, right? And when it comes to self-finance institutions or the private medical colleges, 100% seats are available here at the seat bifurcation. I'll be telling you one by one. So first, if I'm talking about the government medical colleges, 100% seats are the government seats. For the private medical colleges, the seat bifurcation you can find in terms of percentage. Government seat as the KPCF, 40%. What is this KPCF? Karnataka Professional College Foundation. Here, the private seats are 40% and NRI seats 15%, other seats 5%. Same ways, if I bifurcate other way round in terms of KRLMPCA, what that is, that is the Karnataka Religious and Linguistic Minority College Association. In terms of that, 25% government seats are available and for the same, private seats are 55%, NRI seats 15% and other seats are 5%. When it comes to the private seats, there is further the bifurcation in terms of KPCF. KPCF, 40% seats are further divided into GMP seats and the open seat. What GMP seats is? This is general merit private and the open seats 50%. Same ways for AMPCK and KRLMPCA, 55% seats are there among which 66% are available for Minority Linguistic Kodava, Minority Linguistic Tamil, Minority Linguistic Telugu, Minority Religious Christian and Minority Religious Muslim. And 34% is GMP and open seats. Bifurcation is clearly visible. So as per your eligibility criteria, you can just go for the counselling process on the basis of counselling chart. At the time of admission, it's very important to provide the list of documents and what documents are needed? Academic eligibility mark sheet or the certificate that you have, NEET UG admit card and the mark sheet. Along with that, the category wise certificate is needed. Whether you belong to EWS category, SEBC category, SC or ST category. PWD certificate, if you are belonging to that category, then you need to provide passport size photograph government ID proof and other relevant certificates as per your eligibility norm. And once again, eligibility criteria you can check on official website. Now in the continuation of the counseling process, it is very important to understand about the cutoff. For the reference, I have just taken the cutoff of the counseling process of 2022 up to the round two, right? For the government medical colleges, I have various categories and along with that, their cutoff and the marks are mentioned on the screen. And for these given categories, you can just find here the full forms as well. So there would be no lack of clarity. For the sake of clarity, I have just taken the various categories. Along with that, the cutoff is there and the marks are also mentioned. Have a look on the screen for the better clarity. The similar cutoff for private medical colleges is also given on the screen and on the basis of that you can identify that what were the required marks and the cutoff for round 2 of 2022 counselling. After getting the clarity about the entire counselling process and about the cutoff marks and AIR, it is very important to know about fee exemption as well. So first of all, we have the fee exemption for SC and ST category for the Karnataka candidate. Here the category where annual income is below 2.50 lakh. This criteria is on the basis of the notification dated 31st December 2015. Candidates are exempted for paying 100% of fees in government aided, unaided, private, deemed university college seats as per GEO number 178-2015. You can clearly check here. Further on 30th June 2016, another notification was there and on the basis of that annual income above 2.5 lakh but below 10 lakh. The criteria is candidates are exempted from paying 100% of fees in government aided, unaided, private, deemed university colleges seats as per GEO number 178-2015. I hope the fee exemption criteria for SC, ST category Karnataka candidate is clear to you and the turn comes for the fee exemption pay details for category 1 Karnataka candidates. So 
If the annual income is below 2.5 lakh, then payment of fees exempted from paying fees for seats in government colleges and in the private college fee will be collected by deducting such fees fixed in government college seat the candidates has to pay the balance fees in this case now the turn comes for the service bond if you have done mbbs or bds from the government or the private medical college of karnataka state then compulsorily you have to serve for the rural area for one year hope it is clear and yes this was the entire counseling process for more detail definitely you need to go for the official website thank you so much